This little video will show you how to forward your Blackboard Vista email to an external account and how to set up your secret question so that should you forget your Blackboard Vista password, you can induce the system to send it to you. Adding your email address to your Blackboard Vista profile. This is not done when your uh, account is created because email addresses tend to change so frequently. But you can do this at any time by going from your My Blackboard page to My Settings in the upper right there and uh, selecting the My Profile tab and then punching the Edit Profile button. You'll then get a, an editable text box where you can add or change your email address and then simply hit Save. So why would you do this? Well, two reasons mainly. If you forget your password and you have set your email um, address in your profile, you can uh, have the system email you a new password. This works, however, only if you have set your secret question. And you can only do that at the time that you change a password. So I have to go in here and hit the Change Password button under My Settings. Uh, type in my current password and then add in a new one put in a new one twice to verify then I make a secret question like favorite color question mark give it an answer and click Save yes I do want to change the password now let's say I immediately have a uh, senior moment and I log out and I can't remember my password again. I go to the forgot your password link on the home page on the login page. I put in my email address that I've put in my profile on Blackboard. It has to be the same one obviously. Click OK. I've got a multiple account so I have to tell it which one I'm changing the pass or want the password for. And then it asks me my favorite color. I give it that, I say OK, and it says my login information has been mailed to me. Well, son of a gun, if I go over here on my other monitor, indeed it's mailed me a temporary password. I obviously probably not going to want to keep that password because that one's going to be impossible to remember, but I can copy it to the clipboard. And get that out of the way, then I can go and log back in using that password. And that works. So that's the password recovery cycle. The other reason you might want to have your email address in your profile is if I go to my settings and my tool options tab, in the middle tab there, I, can, I have an option down here under mail to set mail forwarding. This means that any uh, email message is sent to me through the internal Blackboard email system in any of the courses in which I'm enrolled will be forwarded to my external email to the email address in my profile. That way I don't have to, I'll know if somebody sends me an email inside Blackboard, I'll get it in my external email address. Now this can be good or bad. If you get a lot of email in your internal Blackboard mailbox, you may not want to clutter up your uh, external email account with that. Or you may want to. You may want to make a, a, a new external email account just to receive those. Personal preference. The one thing that you can't do in this situation, when you get an email forwarded to your external account, you can't reply to it and have that reply go back into Blackboard. If you want to reply to that email message, you have to log into Blackboard and reply using your internal Blackboard email tool. But it's still useful to let you know that you've gotten an email inside Blackboard. Okay, good luck. Hope that's of some help.